Hello. You are most welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, to real impartation moment on Tuesday night anatomy with Daniel Okwan. Today's section, I quickly run with you the clavi pectoral fascia. Now, my friends, the clavi pectoral fascia, yes, it's a strong, you know, deep fascia, yes, that we find, yes, around the pectoral region. But one important thing is that, yes, this, I mean, fascia, yes, extends all the way from what we call the subclavius muscle, that muscle under the clavicle, okay, to what we call the pectoralis minor muscle. My friends, it's pectoralis minor, not major, pectoralis minor muscle. It therefore tells us that this fascia also encloses, you know, these muscles as well, okay. Now, the reason why this fascia is worth studying is that there are important structures. I'll mention them too. There are four of them. Yes, which will have to pierce this, you know, fascia to come out or come inside so that they will supply. I mean, they do some kind of important things. Okay. So, it means that, yes, knowledge of this fascia is important. So that, of course, yes, during surgical interventions, yeah, you know which structures which are supposed to be there, which structures are supposed to preserve. My friends, one important thing is that an inferior extension of this clavi pectoral fascia only is something you call suspension ligament, which attaches to the deep fascia of the floor of the axilla. Okay, so that is why, of course, upon contraction of this or upon pull of this clavi pectoral fascia, so for that matter, the suspension ligament of the axilla, yes, that axilla, if you look at the axillary region, it has this kind of dome shaped appearance. So, at the end of this section, my friends, we should be able to tell a whole story, you know, about this clavi pectoral fascia. And so, without much ado, let's set the ball rolling. So there we are. Now, my friends, this is a simple diagram that I want you to practice it wherever you are. Now, one thing that you know is that I'm in the pectoral region, okay? And in the pectoral region, we know we have the breast. And one important muscle where is forming the bed of the breast, which I always mention, is this big guy over here, which you call the pectoralis, you know, major muscle. This is the central section through, of course, the pectoral region. And therefore, I can see this guy over here, this bone over here is the clavicle. It tells me that this portion of the pectoralis major muscle, where it's attached to the clavicle, has become the clavicular head, okay, of the pectoralis major muscle. Now, my friends, one thing that we know is that just below this clavicle, this guy over here, is that there will be one, one muscle below it. And that muscle which attaches over there is, of course, the subclavius muscle. Yes, below the clavicle, and therefore we call it the subclavius muscle. Now, beyond that, one thing is that, yes, that muscle, that big muscle, which we have called it pectoralis major muscle, if I cut and reflect it, yes, deep to it, I will find pectoralis, this time one, the minor form of it, pectoralis minor muscle. Now, if you look at it, because they are, yes, the subclavius and the of four pectoralis minor muscles, yes, are in the same, you know, I mean, vertical plane, the only happen is that there's that kind of connection between them by way of a fascia, and my friends, that fascia is therefore called, you know, clavi, okay, pectoral fascia. And my friends, one thing, although we are calling it clavi pectoral fascia, with the idea that yet it is found between, of course, the subclavius muscle and of course the pectoralis minor muscle, my friends, there's a catch. The catch is that, yes, apart from this muscle, yes, yes extension, extending between them, this, I mean, this fascia also covers these two muscles. So it means another question that you can be asked in your exam that, yes, what are the muscles which are enclosed or which are covered in the, I mean, the clavi pectoralis fascia? Remember that the pectoralis major muscle will be enclosed by a fascia, that deep fascia, we want to call it pectoral fascia. But pectoralis minor is not enclosed in the pectoral fascia, but it is enclosed in this clavi pectoral fascia only, alongside, of course, the subclavius, you know, muscle. Okay, so that is what we see. But my friends, if I go downwards, yes, still part of this clavi pectoral fascia, yes, is what we call the suspensory ligament. Yes, we are now in the axillary region. Now, there's the armpit. We have the deep fascia of the armpit. Yes, the superficial fascia is there. The deep fascia of the armpit, okay, is also attached to what we call the suspensory ligament of the axilla, an superior extension of the clavi pectoral fascia. So that when this ligament pulls, okay, when there's a pull of this ligament, then what will happen is that you can see this is the axilla. If you check your own axilla, 
the floor yes it has this kind of dome shape is because of the pull of the suspension ligament of the axilla so my friends these are the important things that i want you to know okay so that is i mean generally what you have to know about this clavi pectoral fascia by way of which muscles subclavius and of pectoralis minor enclosed within it okay and that fascia is extended between these two areas and then inferior extension to the deep fascia of the floor of the axilla yes we have the suspended ligament of the axilla okay so that is one thing uh, my friends a very important concept which you have to yes uh, sometimes i see a lot of students you know tend to you know memorize they tend to cram some of these things which yes they want to you know block a lot of receptors in their brain but i believe that if you try to i mean bring out the logic behind some of these things yes it makes you know learning a bit easier so the first thing that we want to see is that what are the structures the next question that you should know is that what are the structures which pierce this clavi pectoral fascia okay now one thing i want you to know is that there is an artery there is a vein there is a nerve and there's a lymphatic you know i mean piercing this clavi pectoral fascia not piercing the inferior extension not the suspended ligament of the axilla but i'm talking about the clavi pectoral fascia proper okay one is an artery and what artery are we talking about my friends if i look at the second part of the azure artery yes i've done all these videos yes please get the videos and watch okay if i look at the second part of the azure artery i see one branch coming out and my friends that branch is what we call the turaco acromial you know i mean trunk turaco acromial trunk so you can see that turaco acromial trunk will have to you know pierce it and come out okay and of course come and supply yes some of these muscles around over here like pectoralis major muscle so it has to pierce this clavi pectoral i mean clavi pectoral fascia okay to come out okay so that i mean artery is what we call the thoraco acromial artery something we also want to call it acromio thoracic artery my friends one important thing that we know is that this acromio thoracic artery once it come out it comes out yes it gives off you know five branches and of course you know them the apcd branches or the ap uh, apc docs yes we're down in mnemonic yes a for acromial yeah p for pectoral yes c for clavicular and of course d for deltoid branches yes you know that's the acromial you know thoracic trunk but my friends alongside not only that yes i mean yes we want to call the thoracic acromial vein too but that is just a minor thing but one other thing which is the one we shown over here okay it's another vein there's a vein also piercing this i mean i mean this fascia but my friend because the vein will be draining okay in here will be draining in this i mean azari vein over here then what will happen is that it has to pierce it and come inside over here okay it's not going external not going outside coming inside because drain, veins will drain so that vein over there is the cephalic vein okay my friends is the cephalic vein okay that's one important thing that we should know now i told you that yes i have an artery that is the tracheal artery i have the vein that's the cephalic vein then what else i told that there will be a nerve and a lymphatic my friends one important thing that we find over here yes that nerve over here is this guy over here which we call the lateral pectoral nerve my friends, the lateral pectoral nerve is coming from the lateral cord of the brachial plexus. Yes, which I've done already. Yes, you can visit that video and watch it. Now, the lateral cord of the brachial plexus, yes, is giving off this branch. Okay, which is, of course, the lateral pectoral nerve. Yes, lateral. Okay, so one thing that we find is that, yes, this one, it will have to pierce it and come out. Why? Because at the end of the day, it's coming to supply the pectoralis major muscle okay so that's one important thing that we should know okay but not only that my friends you can see this guy which is making that kind of wavy okay i mean a tortoise you know course taking a tortoise course over here this guy is a lymphatic over here my friends this guy this lymphatic is actually to the apical group of lymph nodes now remember that the breast tissue that i looked at yes you can go and look at that video i looked at the lymphatic drainage okay over there okay the various lymph nodes that we have a lot of lymph nodes but i'm talking this time around the lymphatics over here which is actually piercing now it has to pierce and come in why yes because going up there to the apical group of lymph nodes is going to drain in there so it will come inside okay so that is i mean the lymphatic that we are talking about okay 
I hope you find this short meeting helpful. Please share with friends, okay, if you enjoy them. Try to practice some of these drawings at home and you enjoy this kind of anatomy that we are doing. It shouldn't be abstract, okay? It's not, I mean, that kind of, I mean, rocket science. You have to just, I mean, make some of these illustrations down so that you remember all these things. I'm very grateful for your time this evening. Have a good night, all of you, and may the good Lord richly bless you. Amen.